is of a rich nobleman's daughter, so handsome and comely we hear. Father possessed a great fortune for seventy-five thousand a year. He had but this only one daughter, Caroline is the name we are told. Day from a drawing room window, she admired a young sailor bold. Cheeks were like two roses, his hair was as black as the jet. Caroline watched his departure, went round on young William she met. He said, I'm a nobleman's daughter, possessing ten thousand. Of St. Paul's my father and mother to wait with a young sailor. William said, Lady, remember your parents, your bound for to mine. On sailors there is no defenses when the true love is left far behind. Go on to your father and mother and do by them as you are told. Never let anyone tempt you to wait with a young sailor cold. She said, there'll be no one persuade me one moment for to alter my mind. I'll ship and be wrecked with my true love, for it never shall leave me behind. She dressed like a gallant young sailor, forsaking both parents and a half on the salt sea she flowed with a young sailor home. Three times with her love she was shipwrecked, but she always proved constant and true. And you see she done like a sailor and a lot in her jacket so blue. Her father long went and lamented and his streaks tears in long times Last they arrived in old England, Caroline and in the young sailor home. Caroline, she went straight to her father in a jacket to trousers so blue. He received her and momentarily fainted when she appeared to his view. She said, My dear father, forgive me, deprive me forever of home. Grant me one request, I'm contented to wait with my young sailor boat. Father then admitted young William and said that in sweet unity. If I should then spare till the morning, then married together should be. They were married and Caroline's portion was seventy-five thousand years old. Now they live happy and cheerful, Caroline and her young sailor's boat. Yes, I was getting into 